Well, one of the things I've seen happen recently, man, was uh, you kind of had some back and forth, or you and Deshaun Jackson kind of got into a, it a little bit. That fool is a clown, bro. We ain't get into shit, bro. He used to be from the hood, and he trying to, like, deny the shit. Like, hey, we ain't getting into shit, bro. You just lying. Like, you trying to, that shit, nigga. He used to be from my hood. And period, he trying to lie about it. And, like, bro, that nigga's a clown, too. He just, that nigga. So what all happened? You know, uh. He used to be from the hood. <laughs> that shit. But was there, a, there was some incident that happened, or? Well, when he was know, from the hood? Yeah, so somebody. He, somebody he got into it with somebody or no nah, just it just came time for niggas to like you know they was doing some activities came up and whatever the case like i guess he wasn't you know he was acting scary and so i think one of the homies had like fired on him and i just ran and got on and just you know what i mean you never, guys never seen him after that on the football field <laughs> i seen him on the football field he told a story about his dad Kind of threatening everybody, or you know, what I'm saying, saying, uh, you yeah, guys, right. When you know, put my son on. When or, like, who the f man, who the f gonna let somebody come if y'all put my son on? I mean, that shit sounds stupid as f bro. Yeah, right. He ain't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Shit sounds stupid as. F my dad say I'm gonna kill y'all if y'all put my son on. Your son from the hood. We talking about? <laughs> hey, nigga. That nigga's a clown, bro. My dad said, I'm going to kill you, one of y'all. If y'all, man, get the f out of here. Who he told that to? Who he said it to? I don't know. He just said, he, he just told that as part of his, uh, as part of his story of his dad keeping him out of trouble to kind of like, you know. He was from the hood, though. <laughs> like, so, like, man, f that. Yeah, I mean, you know, well, he, he ended up, you know, I guess he, maybe he doesn't want to admit it because, you're a hood you hopper. know, you grew up in a different area. You're a hood hopper. That's why you're a hood hopper. And he went completely to the other side. That's why. Like when stuff like that happens, are you surprised when it happens? Or, you know, what's your what's your thoughts when something like that happens? He didn't make the cut. Just, you know, obviously it was, he didn't make the cut. It was so, you know, he, he wasn't built. He wasn't built like Queen Street. It wasn't, he ain't the first, he ain't the first, it happens. Wasn't the first, wasn't the last. But, you know. How young were you guys when this happened? Um, I think he was like, he was probably like 13, 12, 13. Nah, he was like 13, 14, some shit like that. Cause he was a teenager. He was old enough to be running around the hood with the homies. That nigga was like that. He tried to lie, talking about he was eight years old and stuff. So, why the fuck would you be eight years old hanging out with the man? He's a liar, bro. That nigga was like 13 years old, like 13, 14, bro. How old were you when you got into the streets? Me? Like when I when I got from over there? Well, I started like, I kind of got into the streets like around, i say like 14. Like when I start really like getting outside, but I wasn't gang. I wasn't like gang affiliated though. I was just like, you know, teenager in the streets. Like, you know, mischievous teenager, but like, I didn't even like get with the gang until what? 16, I was 16. Oh, okay. Yeah. A little bit older. Yeah. But you was always just hanging out. Yeah. Hanging with the homies. Fucking around. What made you make that decision to, you know, become um, official? Just circumstances. You know what I mean? Just, just you know, I was, I lived over here. It was just part of the hood. Like, you know what I mean? It was just like, you know, these were all my friends. Like, you know, we all, we all hung out. So it just kind of like, kind of just like a natural transition. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody. All your friends. Yeah, it's like. No. You know, looking back on that man, like, you know, how many of your friends actually made it from that point to here? I lost a lot. Yeah. I lost a lot. A lot of them in jail, I take it. Both both sides. Came home. So a lot of them probably came home at yeah. this point. You know, it's different shit. Some, you know, some got life. Some got a lot of years. Some came home. 
Some died, you know. How do you influence people that are growing up in those circumstances to not go that route? I mean, I try to like, you know, me personally, like, I try not to, I try to just show niggas how different you could be. Like, you know what I mean? I try to not, I try not to like, I don't glorify that shit. Like, you know what I mean? I don't glorify, I, you know, we came from what we came through. I mean, we came from where we came from and we went through what we, we went through what we went through, but it it doesn't have to be the end of your story. Like, you know what I mean? It's other shit you can do. It's other ways you can be. Like, you don't have to be that in life. And I try to show niggas like, you know what I mean? Like, I try to lead by example, basically. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not living that lifestyle no more. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I did what I did. I came from where I came from, but that's, it's more to me than just that. And I try to lead by example, you know? What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.